Today we will assess our organization's security posture using Serious Threat Radar. We will uncover and confirm a potential threat and then identify the next steps in our response. Typically, a Tier 1 analyst will start his or her day at this dashboard on Serious Threat Radar, hoping to identify anything that needs their immediate attention. The first thing I notice from the kill chain at the top of the screen is that we have one asset in the exploitation phase and two assets detected in command and control phase. We can also see from the map that we have threat actors in Indonesia and the United States. Scanning the bottom of the dashboard, I can see that out of nearly 1.7 million discrete events in the system has analyzed in the last two days, it has identified two unique threats impacting two assets. So now I have a few things to look at. Let's start by looking at the two assets that appear under attack. Here, I notice that one host is a desktop in the administrative building, while the other appears to be a domain controller. Another interesting thing is that Craig Jackson was the last user to log into the first desktop. I can also see that these hosts appear to be associated with TrickBot, which we know is a nasty piece of malware in the data theft family, as well as Eternal Blue, which could indicate lateral movement, possibly coordinated with the TrickBot activity. So I'll check into the data theft family to take a closer look. Here, our only known threat in this family is TrickBot, so let's dive in. We can confirm that the assets we saw earlier are definitely involved. And if I click here, I can get an idea of which and how many offenders are involved. Now, I happen to know that Craig Jackson should not be logged into any desktop in the administration building. So I want to investigate further. Clicking on this user's IP opens up my enriched threat hunting console, where I can see a really good picture of all the activity associated with this host, what services, usernames, agents, TLS agents, and others that have been seen. Let's pivot on Craig Jackson again. Once again, we can confirm the two malware families, TrickBot and Eternal Blue. And since we know Eternal Blue indicates potential lateral movement, I'd like to know more. We zoom in further on one of the events that triggered, and we can see here a classic IDS style alert, but we can also see the extensive Stamus enrichment data. Now, I want to know what else happened during the conversation between these two IPs. Because Sirius Security Platform correlates all the flow data from network traffic analysis with the alerts, we have a very complete picture here. I am able to review the full SMB protocol record that is part of the conversation between the two IPs before this specific event even triggered. Okay, so now I'm very interested. I know this is bad because I know this user is not supposed to be there. So let's see what other systems were involved in this activity. We'll go back to hosts and adjust the filters. We can see our user Craig Jackson and several offending public IPs, but there is also that other internal IP that I'm interested in checking out. And when I look, I suspect that based on the services it is running, it's one of my domain controllers. Just to confirm this, we can apply one of the predefined filters. And yes, I can confirm that in fact, that same IP is identified as a domain controller. Okay, great. Looking closer, we can see the malware was first seen on July 5th, and I can see that the J3 encryption mapping, that's, that's very interesting. So what's also interesting here is that these user agents are super suspicious. Let's look to see where else we might find these agents. So I click here 
remove all the rest of the filters, and now I have a picture of where that user agent has been seen on which machines. Now, I'd like to see what other services might be using that particular user agent, so I convert this filter to a host view, and I see that this is a public IP with only one service running on it, which is HTTP Apache Cowboy. We know that this service is used by TrickBot for command and control. Now, we want to know what other IPs have been running the Cowboy service as well. So here we can see that two additional IPs have been seen running the Cowboy service. Based on all this information, we now know that these public IPs are the offenders and are being controlled by my TrickBot infected domain controller, which was infected by the other user using Eternal Blue in a lateral move. So now, armed with these insights, I can open an investigation focused not only on the IPs, but also on this user, Craig Jackson, and all the other places the user has contacted. Hopefully this demo gives you a taste of how the Sirius Security Platform helps security teams know more, respond sooner, and mitigate the risk to their organizations. Thank you.